You do need those big uglies believing in you. They hand the ball inside, and the pressure is there coming through. He is number 56 for, for 26, Eric Mays, to make the tackle. Mays is a co-captain linebacker, and he stepped into the hole, and he repped him. Three wide out to the top of your picture. Hessler's back, and he's looking at it. And he gets it away big. He's got Woodson over there. Coverage is intercepted. They challenged Charles Woodson. He put too much air under the ball, and Woodson intercepted it, intended for Cheverini. On the 33, first down for the Buffalo. Blitz coming down on the 30. Trotman never had a chance. Marcus Ray coming out of the secondary again, a safety blitzing on the play. Colorado State and won by 10 last week. This is Michigan's opener. Pressure coming again to pass away in a hurry. Goes to Trotman out of the backfield. The Wolverines just eat it up. Charles Woodson came that time. Option to the left. Kessler can't get around the corner. Wolverines defended that very, very well. It's interesting call. Kessler still got it. He takes the left. It's intercepted. Intercepted by the Michigan Wolverines. Number 41, Tommy Hendricks. Michigan Stadium. Where he resides for a little while this afternoon. Close to 105 pounds. And they're cheering loudly as their defensive uh, fellows are doing a fine job. Clint Copenhaver gets the call here on Marlon Barnes. Blitz is coming. They need to change the snap count, Keith. Those linebackers from Michigan have it down pretty good. They're, they they're blitzing at the right time each time. Sword and Rennes. Rennes a pressure man. Sword the blitzer. Colorado defense is getting better all the while, too. Here's Hessler back, hands the ball away, and there's a loss on the play as number Marlon Barnes carrying, and Glenn Steele is not having any of it. Big guy from Ligadier, Indiana. Took him down for a loss on the play, back to the 15-yard line. Hessler's pass intercepted by Copenhaver. Out of bounds at the 15-yard line. the state uh, uh, Tennessee and Texas yeah. or UCLA yeah. Hester loses the football Michigan's got it no they don't I think he had second he had two fingers held up did it he yeah, was part. pointing the other way with the arm though and yeah. it's, it's going to be Colorado <laughs> keeping he was, it he was pointing the other way so boys in motion They are relentless. James Hall, the first man. Fizel followed. Then Mays came along. The college has taken the lead over West Virginia. It's a surprise. Hessler's in trouble, trying to step away from it. He can't do it. Glenn Steele, 81, and Josh Williams, 91. Now the pressure people inside. Hessler's pass is intercepted by Downey Jones. And Jones comes back inside the 30 to the 28. Who is there first? So can the Bears take advantage from inside the Wolverine 30? Douglas gets the call, reverses field, will lose five. Let's go and check in with Carl Ravitch in the studio. We have a takeaway defensively, but too many errors on this side, and not any room for overstreet. On the near side, waiting for him, the free safety, Tommy Hendricks. First and 15 as we begin the second quarter. to get the screen set up. He can't read it any better than 
Michigan defensively has this one stiffed out. Thompson immediately with Hendricks and three or four other blue jerseys right on top of him. Douglas back outside the 40 for a loss. Just as he was losing his footing, Sam Sword was there to make sure that Douglas would go no further. Strung out for a loss. A speed advantage defensively for Michigan that Colorado felt all last week. Watson pass again batted down all the way back through the end zone. Renis has a couple of those on these last two Baylor possessions. Small contingent from Waco here at Ann Arbor, 31-3. Five minutes and 14 seconds to go. Watson from his own end zone looks up, throws the interception at the 36-yard line. The pickoff for Michigan for Dwayne Patman. And in motion is Nelson. Kai Nelson gives the ball away to Tim Barry, the fullback, and he will lose two yards back inside the 30. and couldn't do it so he'll go down at the line of scrimmage Josh Williams was there like a big oak door Denson short of the line of scrimmage Sam Sword number 93 third and two Ray makes the play on Arthur Denson. I mean, he had him right on the number. Behind him. On third and goal from the nine. He's got open field. Throws. Intercepted. Tommy Hendricks. I thought for sure I was going to have it. Holloway's going to come across, and 41 is going to cover him eventually. Now he's going to avoid it, sack it out, stop it right here, right there. Look at this. He sees this. That's all he sees. He doesn't see number 41, Hendricks, but Hendricks is going to make the play. Hollis thought he had a touchdown. If he would have thrown it a little bit higher and a little bit more in front of him, Option. Andre Weathers, quarterback on a blitz, ran down the quarterback. That's probably where they're going to go on third down and two. Denson goes that way and he's hit. Eric Mays hit him in the backfield. And then he was pinned by Marcus Ray, and they're looking at fourth down. Crowd getting into it. Checking off. Denson. He did not make it. Set for the first down. The football to the 28-yard line of Indiana. Hogan gets the toss and gets hit in the backfield. Sam Sword, who had 14 tackles, a career high in tackles last week against Notre Dame, made the stop. Let's get out of this. Indiana with a cluster to the bottom of your screen. And out of that cluster, Gall in motion. Rogers under pressure. Rogers wrapped up and sacked back near the 10-yard line. Joaquin Fazell, the defensive end out of Fort Valley, Georgia. In the running game, they've been more pass dominated than appears here today. And off play action, back to throwing under pressure. Rogers nowhere to go. Good penetration. Josh Williams in on that play. Rob Renus and Glenn Steele, a trio, collaborate on the sack. 
Browning again in motion. Rogers to his goal line. Intercepted by Woodson. Charles Woodson with the interception of the nine-yard line. And that's exactly what he didn't want to do, Randy. Exactly what you warned him. Woodson on the interception. And Michigan takes over. It'll be interesting to see what the statistics at halftime show us. And Hogan's going nowhere. Glenn Steele, the veteran defensive end, wraps him up. Especially net punting. Field position so important in good defense. Well, they had it covered on the far side, and then Glenn Steele puts away Jay Rogers as he waited for a receiver to open. 408 yards passing a few games ago against Ball State. Rogers waits for the pattern to open over the middle and overshot the freshman, and uh, the interception will it stand? A diving grab made. It's going to be Michigan football. Adrian Taylor makes the interception on the overthrow. And now second and goal occurs from the 17-yard line of Michigan. Hughes again chase. Steele has him. Won't let him go. Third sack of the year for Glenn Steele. And Josh Williams right there. Third and goal from the 26th. And Hughes again, buried by Williams. He's got back-to-back -back sacks. Five of the top 16 in the country. Michigan number six coming in. Hughes buried again at the 23. Woodson coming on a corner blitz, and Jones right there with him. They send Tad in motion. Out of the eye, off three. Doing good second effort twice today. Turning what seemed to be a certain loss into a two or three yard pickup. At all to hurt those lofty standards. Adrian Autry had to step over his own blocker, Matt Hartle. Only manages the line of scrimmage at the 30. So the drive remains alive. The Hanny Jones bursting through untouched. That's the kind of play where you can blow a knee out. So now the Cats have got to think throw, and Woodson knows that, and he's got the pick. Somewhere under that pile with his third interception of the year is Charles Woodson. No bones about it. Yesterday, they said they will go after Charles Woodson. Very few teams have done. Banks buried for a loss of two. And again, with the change at the line. Just gets the snap in time. Banks, no game. As the Iowa State defense did, Bill, the Michigan defense keeping very close tabs on Taylor. Iowa yet to be scored on in the first. Sherman off the fake to Banks, going for the end zone, and this one is picked off by Marcus Ray at the one. We hear so much about Charles Woodson, and deservedly so. The other secondary players for Michigan are also great, great players. Rob Tyne in at fullback. As Banks, noted for his cutbacks, had to cut back the instant he got that pitch. And all he manages is the line of scrimmage where Josh Williams had it. And they did. Very important for Michigan to answer, and they did. Now Sherman being chased by Jones. Gahanny Jones can run a little bit. I was just about to say that Sherman had surprised me with his speed until I saw him try to outrun Gahanny Jones. Sherman now having to bark it out over the crowd on third and 11. Off the play fake. Intercepted at the 45, the second in this first half for Marcus Ray. But the Wolverines have erased that damage with their opening drive. And Banks turns his back and tries to back up to the line of scrimmage where he runs into Rob Reedus. Iowa first and 10 from the 26th of the Wolverines. Fabian Banks, that he saw room to the left, didn't last long. Clint Copenhaver 
wrapped him up at the 32. White went in motion. And Banks says hello to Glenn Steele. Let's go down to Dave Ryan. Talking about the number two total offense in the country. German chased. And dropped at the 28 by Rod Renitz. Coming again with a blitz, and they got him, Clint Copenhaver. Sherman from the 26. Pressure from Steele. Steps up, and it's intercepted by Sam Sword. At 5-1 and one and a field goal away from matching Michigan 6-0 record coming into this one. Urban, this time unsuccessful in looking for room outside as he's greeted by Tommy Hendricks. Bill, a moment ago you talked about Williams has excellent speed. Urban, and this time nowhere to go as he's turned back by James Hall, the sophomore outside backer, kind of a combination in backer out of New Orleans. On second and 15, play action. And Renaud buried by Andre Weathers. A lot of people consider the best defensive backfield in the country. On third down over the middle, and Ray has his third interception of the season. They have both come in the last two weeks. Urban again going wide on third and four. And Schultz throws this one away right into the arms of Andre Weathers, who gets his first interception of the year and brings it back nine. Just three at ten today on third down. Renaud left inside of Scott. Long is right. Schultz just before Frizzell got him. And a... Leaping interception by Woodson, who got a foot down somehow inbounds. James Hall once again applying the pressure. And once again, Schultz is trying to throw the ball away. He has no idea that Charles Woodson can jump 15 feet in the air come down acrobatically, get his foot inside this football field. Folks, you can watch football a long, long time before you see another play like that. And he did so because they expected Irvin at some point to try pass. They said he's a quadruple threat. And they denied him the chance. Schultz tried to force this one to Long, and it's the fourth. Michigan interception of the afternoon and Woodson right there again. And Bill Burke, who has accounted for their only points today on the fake field goal toss to Urban. Hands to Urban, no game right into Dahani Jones. So Schultz is yanked after the back-to-back -back picks. So he is not totally without experience. Sophomore out of Warren, Ohio. And a lefty who is brought down on a blitz, Ian Gold and Rob Renis. Michigan defense licking its chops now. They keep him in the backfield and then slip him out on the pattern, but no chance for Burke to even glance at him. Steele meeting Josh Williams at the quarterback. Now these big guys. In the third quarter, they've given up only three field goals all year. Burke throws it away, second interception today by Ray. Caught from behind at the 30-yard line after a 30-yard return. Deep middle, another interception. Diallo Johnson with the sixth 
Michigan interception of the afternoon at a 37-yard return. Right on the play. First down, Minnesota. Sutter still got it. And Steele has him. Back near the 22-yard line. Loss of eight. That's at well in motion. Hamner tried to follow the block of Hall and did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Back to Studio 66, Mike. Sauter. Screens to Hamner. Michigan had it snuffed out. Josh Williams, the defensive tackle, was right there. Fourth down, Gophers. The might of the Michigan defense being felt here. Evans trying to cut it back. Hit by Redis and then gunned down behind the line. Over to make the tackle for the Michigan Wolverines. That time, Ian Gold, the linebacker. Wayne Larrabee, Randy Wright, Jim Barber, good to have you with us. Billy Cockrum. Evans going nowhere. Boy, the Wolverines rooted that play out. Joaquin Fissell from the line. Marcus Ray and also in on that tackle to Hani Jones. So they were worried about a letdown here, but so far no evidence of such. Cochran on the option. No chance. Joaquin Fazell pursued from behind on the defensive line and snuffed it out a loss of two more yards. It is a fourth down for Minnesota. Changing the play. But yet he's accepted the role as a backup and stepped in and done a nice job with Paul McCartney. Third and four. <laughs> Penalty marker down. Maybe for a hold against Minnesota anyway. Joaquin Fizell gets the snap, gets the uh, sack. Oh, they're being watched by yes, their they starters. Do. Michigan coming out of blitz. Well, Wayne, that'll teach you to call timeout. If you call timeout and you want to try and put some points on the board, Jim Herman is going to come after you, and they want to protect that statistic. They're proud of it, and they're going to come after you. He will have to make some good decisions, and it may be in the fourth quarter. But the big redhead brings him up now to the line of scrimmage, and here's your first play. Pressure coming, sack. It is Glenn Steele, number 81, who fought his way through the traffic. A slow, developing play-action thing that was blown apart by the rush of Glenn Steele. As the Lions start in a bit of a hole, Schioli, number five, tied in with the man in motion. And McQuarrie looking to pass. Pressure coming. Got him again. This time, it is Joaquin Fazell. And the Nittany Lions now will have to punt from deep. McQuarrie stands up, throws quickly. Not much there for Chaffee Fields. As Fields got the ball, he was decked immediately by Andre Weathers, number 30. Five-man front for the Wolverine defense on this play. McQuarrie gets his pass off. And it's completed to Bob Stevenson. And Stevenson tells it out of bounds with a first down. He is in at fullback, number 80. He's a tight end and moved over. Remember, they are without their first two fullbacks, Jason Sloan and Aaron Harris. And they may be without Stevenson, it's Taylor and Stevenson on the sideline, and I haven't seen either one of them move yet. Watch this collision. Wow. Woo. That's powerful. That is Penn State's first first down, and they may have paid a big price. Query sack. Number 55, Deonnie Jones. Coming right up the middle. Slip the block. And Enos hit behind the line of scrimmage. The ball comes out. Joaquin Fazell hit him and the ball came out. But it stays in the possession of Penn State. Puts him into a slot. Query back. Pressure coming. Passes away. Intercepted. Marcus Ray picked it off. 
So they're looking down the middle for Jurovicius and Marcus Ray steps in front of it from their own seven. Weary back. They're after him, and they've got him. Josh Williams chased him right into the arms of Steele, and they take him down at the five-yard line. And hit him. Rosinas again. And he's taken down. Is it Rennes or is it, uh, no, it's James Hall, 55. Good point, Len. And there are no substitutes in that Michigan defense right now, I can tell you. <laughs> They're all starters. McCurry is going to go down. Yes. He lost the ball, didn't he? Or did he? I don't know. He looks like he looks like somebody was diving yeah. for a ball around the 45, but I guess not. It is second down and eight from the 45-yard line for Wisconsin. That short kick picked up up the field, and the Badgers are starting at good field position, but they lost a big chunk of it right there as Clint Copenhaver led the defensive surgeons and uh, dropped Faulkner for a loss. Third down and nine now for Wisconsin, and that's Donald Hayes in motion. Samuel back, steps away from the pressure, and now there's a penalty flag, and the quarterback is running. Back around, oh, he will get a yard or so on that carry, but the penalty flag is what may be the most interesting. It's going to be against Wisconsin. It'll be holding. It certainly is. Second down and five. He got it again. This time they get it behind the line of scrimmage. James Hall, who just missed on three different occasions in this first half, finally gets him in. Yeah, that's a misplay, Keith. We just throw it down there offensively and defensively. They work on it and work against it. Glenn Steele not going to let him get too much time. He gets it off there, and it'll be intercepted by Charles Woodson. Well, Woodson steps in front of it. Right in, grab the motion. He looks at it. Now he runs away from the pressure, and he is caught and tackled by Sam Sword. Big play by Sam Sword because if uh, Samuel gets away from him, he gets the first down. Gain of one of them now. Their pot's boiling. They trail by just six points. They're eight and two on the season, and they're still in the Rose Bowl hunt themselves. That tackle is made by Glenn Steele. Second down to three. Samuel rolls it out. And down he goes. It's James Hall who got around the blocker. Pick up the pressure. This time he can't get away. It's Deontay Jones, and he's got a little more foot speed than Glenn Steele. And down he goes back outside the 20 to the 22-yard line. Schedule to start. Schedule at the end is very tough. And he's set. So James Hall gets the number, and uh, the clock shows 25 seconds, so you need one snap of the ball. Woodson comes over to cover Boston. Look at him right in the eye at the top of your picture. To running play, James Hall, number 56, slashes in there to get Stanley Jackson. So far, you're right. Miller is hit in the backfield by number 93, Sam Sword. Michael Wiley is the tailback. Jermaine will throw it. He won't hit it. He is caught behind the line of scrimmage by Glenn Steele, number 81, who got him by the shirt tail. And then it was Williams who put him down. Well, again, Keith, second down. Jermaine hit behind the line of scrimmage by Joaquin Fizzell, number 90. Boston coming to the bottom of the picture. Jackson throws in the middle. By Wixon. Winfield. All he needs to do is get over on the other side a little bit. Back goes Jackson. And he's got a problem. Still struggling. Now throws it in. Intercepted. It's right to Andre Weathers. And Weathers will score a touchdown. 
down. Oh, that could be a will breaker. To the emotional level. Boston's out here on weathers, but they run it. Michigan defense is on fire now as Rod Renus penetrates and gets the sack. Or well, the loss on the play. Actually, not a sack. Renus just blew everybody out of the middle to make that play. All right, it's first down just inside uh, the 50-yard line. Wolverines try to blitz. They do. They get to Jermaine. They knock him down. Rod Renus stopped initially, fought his way through the pile, and sacked the Ohio State quarterback. They were trying to go big. Here's it. Josh Williams behind the line of scrimmage. Back to the 45-yard line. See where they are. The six up front. Now they peel off. Jermaine rolls. He's looking for Miller. He's not there. They go the other way. And it is intended for David Boston in front of Marcus Ray. And Boston went down flat of his back and may be out of air for just a moment. That was a dash route. They call it dash. Mike Jacobs, the offensive coordinator, getting him outside the pocket as we look at Boston still on the ground. He went down very hard. Way up in the air and is going to come down right on his shoulder blades. He did. So you've got a timeout for Boston at 5.54 oh. to play in the football game. 20 to 14, Michigan. Pepe Pearson ran into Glenn Steele and James uh, to Josh Williams and James Hall. 91, not 81. with a second successive big defensive play. Today, and Ohio State loses here. The Lions become an Alliance Bowl probability. Joe Germain, under pressure, throws. It is incomplete. He threw on his way down, and Jim Kimberling says, nothing doing. You're down right here at the line of scrimmage. Glenn Steele, one more time. And so it's fourth down. 50 seconds. Sam Sword almost had it, and the ball came out. Ian Gold was the man that touched it first and deflected it. So it's first down, just beyond the 32-yard line for Washington State. And Sean Kimson, pressure coming, passes away, incomplete. Diving for the ball was Marcus Ray, the man coming to put the heat on was Charles Woodson. So, Messrs. Woodson and Leaf have now met. Second down and ten. They lose a yard as Tommy Hendricks, that free safety up in that linebacking slot, led the tacklers. They go to the shotgun for the first time, and there are three wideouts. Incomplete. It was Charles Woodson coming on the blitz. Washington State was not prepared for it. The protector was on the other side, and Woodson beat him to leave, and he had to unload it. Black the single back. Black gets it. Nothing. <laughs> Michigan shows blitz. They're coming. They got him. Number 55, Deontay Jones. Jones, a young man from Potomac, Maryland. Sophomores. So quick. Come again. Roll it out. Intercepted. Charles Woodson. Well, one of them was swung too hard, I think. Probably broken his hand. They got him. James Hall, number 50. 
six. I think you're right. <laughs> Second down and ten. He really hit it. Handed off to Clayton. And Jason Clayton can't get away from it. And he's taken down for a two-yard loss by Marcus Ray. And momentum now is where it may and blue. Gilmore is in at the single back position and gets the ball. And uh, is taken down for a yard loss. Runs into Charles Woodson. He is very veteran. The time now runs out of time. Josh Williams gets his first sack of the day. And he takes Leaf down at the 10 yard line. This is what happened in the Ohio State game. Clayton is the single back. Lee pumps it, and the sack. Number 55, Deontay Jones, the sophomore from Potomac, Maryland. Now anything that takes time, that was a little hitch and go or out and up. He faked it, and he just anything that takes time is just not going to get it.